The Middle East is seeing America's influence dwindle in the region. In fact, reports have surfaced on a potential new replacement for the United States. And who could that be, you're asking? Take a look behind me. The U.S.'s old friend, China. China is steadily building its economic influence in the Middle East as they strike up new deals with longtime U.S. allies like Saudi Arabia. Now, according to reports, the Gulf Cooperation Council met with Beijing last week all in an effort to set up a free trade agreement between both countries. Now, the cooperation featured officials from Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Oman, and Bahrain. According to new reports, the talk centered around deeper strategic op cooperation in a region where U.S. dominance is showing signs of retreat. So to discuss all of this, we are joined by former Pentagon official Michael Malouf. Michael, I have talked to you about this, I know, a number of times, and you called it. You said it's going to be a vacuum, and who's going to go in? China. So, sir, you may take your victory lap. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. But it's true, and uh, it's it's something that um, uh, has been evolving. China, China's influence in, in the Middle East has been growing over the years. It's just been discreet and very quiet, and it has pumped a lot of money in it, and it intends to reap the dividends ultimately. And we're seeing this with its Belt and Road uh, initiative, and uh, it hasn't that has not been lost on Saudi Arabia because Saudi Arabia frankly sees that the U.S. security guarantees have waned. They also see that the U.S.-led world order is diminishing and that uh, the alternative is a, a combination of Russia, China uh, under the auspices of the uh, Shanghai Cooperation Organization and which, which uh, appears to be the evolution of a new world or a multipolar world order. And also the possibility that that new world order will actually set up its own independent uh, financial system uh, independent of the West and out from under the SWIFT system. And that way, they're not subject to Western sanctions uh, as they have in the past. So for, for Saudi Arabia, it, it sees uh, China's influence uh, because of its own long-term agreements uh, and arrangements for 2030 uh, to, to um, become independent uh, uh, and, and set up alternative industries to its oil and gas industries now. Because if the world's diminishing in terms of its interest in oil and gas and shifting to be more green or, or environmentally uh, safe, uh, that they're, they're going to need to do something like become more of a high tech center. And, and they, but they need the infusion of technology and know-how. And China is going to be the alternative. Militarily, we see China also uh, offering uh, Saudi Arabia missiles. Uh, and missile technologies in case it wants to develop its own uh, intercontinental ballistic missile capabilities. So these, these are all plans in the making simply because Saudi Arabia sees the, 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 the way the winds are, are shifting mm -hmm. in terms of Western influence. Plus, they also know that the Biden administration uh, really has no love for Saudis. And Michael, I want to get this leadership. one last question in for you, too. We cannot, I would be remiss mm -hmm. if we did not bring up Africa as well and the Chinese influence that's starting mm -hmm. to happen there. What oh, is yeah. it? Is, oh. is it just that the United States were just, we're old in this game? Is it that we're too difficult to work with? Is it that Chinese, they're, they're just better as far as making deals? You got, I got about 40 seconds. They're all for you. But what is it? Why go yeah. to China now? Well, well, China, China has offered a, a different approach. They've offered infrastructure development in underdeveloped countries. And the, it, again, its Belt and Road Initiative is the, is the uh, keystone for that. And the, the problem with, the, with the, Ch the Chinese approach, however, is in their, lend in their uh, lending practices uh, at high interest rates so that they, in effect, because a country may, may uh, not be able to meet its uh, payment obligations, they basically take over the facilities. Thereby, China spreads its wealth and, and its influence and presence. Secondly, it, it also has a, uh, it, it, it brings in Chinese workers all the time. They're not hiring domestically. And that's been a source of problems for the Chinese. Michael Malou, former Pentagon official, always great to see you. And once again, you were right. Thank, Thank you, my friend.